so good morning to all present over here myself dr raghavend patida advisor institutions innovation council global institute of technology welcomes you all audience present here you all aware that today we are organizing the first uh, session of impact lecture series is sponsored by ministry of education innovation cell these impact lectures has a sole objective to generate awareness and skills on innovation ecosystem entrepreneurship and intellectual property rights also to motivate students and faculty members to pursue innovation and startup during their academics so today the first session is scheduled with two impact lectures first session uh, is on uh, an expert session on innovation and entrepreneurship for this our expert uh, is dr dinesh yadav so by not taking so much time let's start the first impact lecture by introducing our speaker dr dinesh yadav dr dinesh yadav is associate professor and assistant director e cell in the department of electronics and communication engineering at faculty of engineering manipal university jaipur he is also an innovation ambassador in institutions innovation council that is an initiative of ministry of education innovation cell he also have a vast experience of teaching the engineering undergraduate and post graduate courses of electronics and communication engineering his research area includes ultra wideband uh, band reconfiguration uh, mimo 5g millimeter wave antennas and uh, micro strip patch antennas also so also he has published more than 25 research papers in reputed peer reviewed journals he is also handling the responsibility of secretary at iit rajasthan center jaipur so i am pleased to welcome you sir most welcome in this session over to you sir thank you so much uh, raghavendra ji for just such a nice introduction and uh, i first of all would like to thank the management of global institute of technology those who are giving the wings to the students and they are hosting these kind of lectures these are name impact that means it should have some impact on the students thinking thought process and upcoming technology which we are experiencing that how the things are changing so thank you so much i also thankful to dr ishwar ishwar sharma ji principal of global institute of technology and dr raghavendra patidar sir who is hosting this event thank you so much for extending the invitation uh, let me share my screen Raghavendra ji, is it visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. visible. Perfectly visible. Sir. Okay. Thank you so much. So, so guys, the topic which the impact lecture series is starting from today is the expert session of innovation and entrepreneurship. And innovation and entrepreneurship, if we can see, these are two terms which are closely related to each other. yes it is the initiative of the ministry of education institutional innovation council and it is also giving the opportunity to the students faculty members and the other staff members so that they can think in different way because nowadays the technology is changing day by day and the innovation is happening so this first session is is mostly concentrated on what is innovation how the innovation can be can be defined and how you can differentiate invention and innovation process apart from that if you can see the entrepreneurship is the term which sometimes known as a startup sometimes known as finding the new way to do the different things so these terminologies which we will discuss in this lecture uh this slide i have made for those the uh, speakers uh, if i am giving as a speaker talk in outside country so you already know where we are located uh, because you people are from jaipur only so these are the manipal university jaipur from where i belongs so i invite all of you to 
visit and see the facilities what we are having here so you i am inviting all of you for the entrepreneurship startup and aic atel incubation center this, which is the uh, you can say it is the initiative of niti ayog so we are also having the atel incubation center which incubates and provide the facility to the all the startup but it is not only for the manipal university jaipur guys i would like to tell you it is for the reason okay so atel incubation center will support your startups your your findings if you are at the advanced level prototyping level after that if you are in advanced level you can uh, visit to aic and you can pitch your idea over there also so we are also having atel incubation center these are the infrastructure and all the facility now coming directly on the topic expert session of innovation and entrepreneurship so as a layman or beginner i i just think of there are two term logy but in coming coming session coming time i will tell you how these are closely correlated with each other so you can see that what is innovation so first come thing come in my mind that innovation is there is a way to do the different task different uh, assignments in different way you can say there is a way to do it better to find the solution of the problem so these are the statements from thomas edison that means if we are doing innovation innovation that means there is a way so you can see there is a there is a heavy rain in 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 the path and the three people are going from one place to another place and one another person who is using umbrella in different way and you can say he is going from one place to another way uh, place also uh, he is getting the solution in innovative way to avoid from the water so these are the thinking process innovation and every mind is having the innovations because it doesn't require any expertise no education is required for the if you want to innovate something you can see nowadays the people which are selling the foods or the vegetables they are innovating in in their uh, process of selling the food foods and uh, the vegetables in different way you can see they are they are cleaning the vegetables they are cleaning their food for example apple if you are seeing there it is shining apple and good good quality so, so it will attract the customer so like this the innovation this is innovation so one terminology also come in our mind what is innovation what is invention what do different what are the difference between the innovation and invention there are two different terminologies invention and innovation so before going to that i just keep this small slide which is closely related to the technical background and this technical background it is showing because this is very close to my heart i am the core antenna researcher and this slide i am taking for that because you people have experienced this you, if you can see you uh, around to you you will find out these these tech antennas and aerials around you so if you can see uh, okay so you can see these are the traditional antennas right? that means these are the transmitters and receivers so earlier someone is thinking about that is it possible that we can transmit a information in free space if you can see when antennas and devices are not invented i'm using the word invention i'm not using the word innovation okay so what is invention someone is inventing the mobile phone someone is inventing telephone someone invented the television some invent radio and this terminology now after that the innovation is taking place step by step so there so what is the meaning so if we are inventing something if we are making it more com compact more uh, you can say it has the good characteristics efficient system then it is coming under the inno innovation so if invention has been done the innovation is still going on going on you can see the mobile technology you can see wifi technology you can see antenna technology so what i would like to tell you these are the traditional tv receivers they are dd1 and dd2 would be broadcasting through the satellite and these are receivers and they are receiving from particular direction only you have experience in many movies if we are rotating this this then only the signal is coming 
and then after the some some time it, the signal will vanish because it it has due to wind due to air due to atmospheric effect it it shifts its direction so just if you are not from that background this is the basic information that you should know that these are having these are receiving the signal from satellite and it is having the specific direction now this technology is replaced by these parabolic dish antennas that means the innovation is taking place because the problem is when people are thinking that what is the problem the problem is the reception of the signal that means due to atmospheric effect it will start to rotate then it, there is a problem every time we uh, if there is one brother and sister or, or two brothers are there one has to go to the rooftop and one has to sit in front of the tv screen and then awaaz lagate hain aaya kya aaya kya aa gaya like this this is the innovation that means now this is the problem so the problem is how to do the innovation that means we have fixed our aerial in particular direction where satellite is there okay so the people those who are coming to fix this towards one round so that means they are in line of sight so guys i am just telling you the innovation that means the this is one of the example that how the things are doing we are changing innovation so usse kya problem solve ho gaya what are the problems we have shot out using that number one problem is there is a line of sight communication always maintained if there is a heavy wind or maybe atmospheric impact it we we will lose the signal due to the rain and cloudy weather but after some time whenever the signal it is okay there is no physically we not no need to fix up the position of the area and like this now if you see this picture you can find out that there are lots of lots of mobile antennas are there okay the, the motorola have launched their first uh, mobile phone okay which is having this is uh, long time long antennas and system so it uh, so this technology is going advanced nowadays it replaced by the planar antennas and other antennas so you can couldn't find out the antennas on the surface of the Uh, uh, mobile phone it is inside the mobile phone and it is not only the mobile phone trans receiver antennas or the system it is also having the bluetooth antenna which is data transmission people are using or wifi antennas through which the uh, uh, you can say the internet is working over there so these are different different technology so i'm just giving you earlier these antennas were were the rabbit ear type of antennas and the tv screens were there so i am just giving this picture and what is the future of this techn technology we don't know there are aircraft which is last with the lots of systems air air air, uh, air communication air to ground communication through satellite communication these are the big array type of antennas there lots of elements are contributing to transmitter and receiver and these big parabolic antennas which are transmitting and sending the information to the to the satellite so guys if you you if you are from any background student you people are using mobile phone in your pocket so what i would like to convey from these two slides that the invention has been taken place long back the invention of telephone mobile phone or any communication devices have been taken place from the long back you people or you can say the people from the different mindset they come together and they think in different way that no 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 this is this mobile phone is having some problem so what do i have to do i have to reduce its size i have to make it compact sometime the power handling capacity is weak that you can't make a small device you have to make make a big area so like this if there is a power handling that means if you want to send a set signal from earth station to satellite you require such a big dish you probably seen in some of the movie robot and etc there is a big parabolic dish okay which is which is transmitting high power so it required required a, uh, uh, you can say bigger area so this is all about now coming to the innovation the term innovation is new way of doing something that means if some person is performing some task if uh, for example uh, you might be seen somewhere we have to carry bricks from one place to another place so what we are doing if there is a distance is, is uh, for example 50 feet so what people are doing 
one person is carrying the bricks from one place to another place so he has to travel 50 feet and again he has to come 50 feet now another person has to do the same exercise so every people every time is moving from one place to another 50 feet and coming back again 50 feet that means it is wasting its energy what the innovative way they have think that they are making the chain of the people and the chain of people one person is passing the brick to another person another person is passing to the brick to the another person and so on that means using this is what is this the objective was to transfer the bricks from one place to another phase and the distance between the first place and second place is 50 feet so what the innovative way is coming in mind that they may make the human chain and they are passing the bricks from one place to another so what is this this is called innovation that means new way of doing the something so innovation you can apply in anything it is not limited to the technology it is not limited to the service industry you can go to the hotel industry you can go to the uh, food industry or these any kind of industry which is you can say so it can be innovate innovate the different thing it may be providing the product innovation it may be the thinking of doing the different thing with the processes or maybe organization so like this so that means the innovation it means the it involves the creativity sometime your innovation fails but it iteration is also there that means what is the alternate way to do the things okay uh, if someone is is failed 50 times okay if i'm doing some experiment or maybe some innovation if i failed 50 times so what is the outcome of that i should demoralize no I should not demoralize from this that means i knew the 50 ways through which this system will not work this is the positive outcome of that if you can see the great invention whenever the great invention has been taken place there are lots of lots of lots of efforts has been taken place in background so no one acknowledge the failures always people acknowledge the the success so but what is the failure this is the first attempt in learning kalam sahab said that it is the first attempt in learning if you are if you are failed one time second time third time fourth time 100 times you fail you having that kind of knowledge that means but the people or those who are not attempting anything they never fails they will never get success in their life it will implement everywhere if the first attempt in learning if you want to do you have to put your step forward okay so this is the innovation innovation steps which we people are following now different different innovations has been taken it may be product innovation maybe process innovation or maybe it may be the market based you know business innovation supply chain innovation source innovation so lots of lots of definitions are coming the innovation now still the thing is coming in my mind that means the what is the purpose of what is the why i should do the innovation why one should do the innovation it will increase the value value of the product cost side if you can see okay and you can see the satisfaction of the customer those who are using that product that is very important for example one person is using the any kind of product you are if you are if you are inventing for example you invented the the uh, invented the washing machine for example okay so in washing machine the purpose of washing machine it is a one single embedded system which is using that what it is doing it is it is uh, used for the cleaning of the clothes but if the uh, customer is also required the dryer with along with that because there is a problem if we are washing the uh, clothes through the washing machine after some time we have to dry it some place if there is a lack of place then if there is a dryer is available now innovation is taking place now what is the innovation dryer also included in that that means sometime the value of the product will increase if we see this 
the customer demand and again the cost side also we can't increase the exponential cost of the product if we are adding some feature then exponential abhi cheez koi bhi cheez it look like 5000 rupees you can't keep it 10000 or 15000 like this because we have added such 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 feature it is not like this it should not be exponential so everything innovation if people are doing with their thinking the value side also customer satisfaction also cost effective side also so innovation is everywhere now it, this picture will give you the brief idea about the uh, difference between the innovation and invention if you can see there is a innovation if you can see there is a bicycle and in this when it was invented you can see this is a small seat ring which is the front side which is bigger in size and the small wheel at the back side so it was invented but there is some problems it can't you can't ride fast okay there is a problem if person is sitting over there he has to he has to go some place where he can climb on it okay so like this there are lots of lots of lots of uh, innovation has been taken place to designing the bicycle so invention was there is a two wheels which can use to carry a person from one place to another place that's it this was the innovation at this is the balance type of things the people make think of there is a small wheel uh, front side back side bigger wheel or the then after that both wheels are is same size like this the innovations has been taken place now after that now you can see there is a, a bicycle the people the, the riders are using for the racing purpose now the what are the, the, the what is the size what should be the weight of this okay and what is the wheel size how this 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 compact type of bicycle because every time we have to cross the wind that means the torque is there air uh, friction is there so these kind of innovation has been taken place that scientifically they come out with some data that this could should be the actual product so like this the innovation the bicycling which we are uh, the people are using for the racing purpose should be fast in speed should not like this there is a weight and all other things no the people are using the bicycle for the home purpose also they are having their different they has to carry the weight sometime one one person can carry the another person back side so like this so that whenever the demands come whenever the service come the innovation has been taken place okay so uh, i hope this uh, slide is very much clear to all of you now the type of innovation the type of innovation if you can see we can do the innovation in product product means i told you earlier that there is a television which was invented earlier mobile phone which were this is the product innovation bicycle motorcycle scooters these all are the product innovation that means we are doing the innovation in the product okay that means the goods the facilities which we are creating with the goods experimental facilities which we are doing with so product every time product we are making more for example led lights okay they are not coming directly to the led light we started with the bulb and like this okay so like this now second one is process innovation what is what process which we are doing to do the things if we are doing some pro work in a innovative way that means the process should be more innovative so that we can make our task easy okay sometimes people say if you are making your life easy that would be more uh, dangerous to for your health but we can use the same energy to the another another work that means if the i give you example if the strength of the people if you are uh, saving you can use for another purpose the process innovation will give you that means the process which you are following earlier it has some flaws that means again you have to rethink on that if you are rethinking on that and you are finding the different way so do it in different way at least attempt it, you may be fail you have to come back to the previous state but there is no problem on that that will give you learning okay so there is a process innovation is also involved in this and last one is service innovation the service providers i told you lots of service providers are there and they are doing always the service we are doing innovation service uh, earlier the wedding 
wedding functions were very simple but nowadays they are having the innovations in that groom and and bride they can bring take at the higher level to the hydraulic hydraulic machine so like this it will look very you have seen earlier earlier it was not there but last 10 years if you can see there lots of innovations are coming in that way uh, event management people are coming in that way they are giving service innovation hotel industries you can say food in food chain swiggy zomato these are all service industry huh? car pulling these all are uh, that means um, if you want to go from here to delhi you just share a car okay there these are services service innovative services if I, i i have to go from here to delhi and i book to book i would like to book a personal car then uh, it cost me lot the people are thinking in different way if four people are want to go from here to delhi they four will use different different from different location they are booking at the online portal and we are picking them and we are dropping at the delhi so it will save their energy fuel as well as well as our system also so this is service innovation you can think a lots of service innovation are going on around that around us so this is the product innovation i gave you that example if you can see we started with the light where the there is a mombatti type of uh, that means we have generated the light from natural sources rubbing the like this we have started in that way now after that the bulb then l lcd okay or uh, like this led lights now it is led because more efficient second one is consuming less power so like this the innovation this is 100 watt bulb for example and this is only uh, 10 watt or 9 watt or 12 watt led that means it will give you more illumination okay at the same cost no it cost more so like this there is there is innovation is taking place but what is the next technology you don't know we don't know still the innovation is going on everywhere okay now if you can see there is a process innovation process that means if one person is they has to carry a block from one place to another place the process is important if you are doing some product innovation the process is also important that means they are correlated for example the, these four person need to carry a block they are these are having the cubic blocks and this person is having a round block so it is it is more easy to carry from one place to another this is simple example that means if you are inventing something the process is also associated with that okay so if you are using in some process it would be also hamper that one example if i want to use if i want to invent a antenna for the mobile technology nowadays it should be small in size compact but it should fit inside the mobile phone if i am uh, designing a long, long size antenna it will not use for me for the mobile technology so the product is also for, uh, having the process innovation now the service innovation the customer satisfaction then the reliability then solution technology efficiency client satisfaction these all are the features if we can see the it is it is uh, coming under the service innovation i gave you one example of this uh, uh, event management team which are providing the service innovation and it will give the better 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 solution to the customers like this now if you go to back now there is a little bit uh, discussion on the radio technology if you can see it was invented around 1900 1910 so if you can see those who have invented the radio the people are thinking of in this way that there is some device which is capturing which is receiving the signal and vivid bharti and it is converting into the audio signal that means something is coming from the air it is receiving some receiving electronic system inside there and it is listening the music if you can see in 80s if someone say there is a device which transmit the free space you can say what are, what are you doing what are you saying guys how it is possible okay we can say now we are thinking what it is impossible now it would be possible in next 50 to 100 year 
So like this, the innovation and invention is going on. So invention is there something. If, if audio is, so people are thinking that if 1920 in different way. If you can see also the picture of that people. So they think audio or video. So CRT based TV television, black and white television was invented in around 1920. So this is the invention, and invention is addressed by the some innovative thinking. Okay. So innovation, in, uh, innovation is coming in everything. The technology you can see. We started with the CRT, then CRT color tube, then coming to the plasma display panel, then LCD, then LED. Now uh, nowadays OLED. So every time, if we can see the technology is advancing, technology is advancing. Flat TV, curved TV, lots of innovation is going on to make our life easy. To make us comfortable if you can see liquid crystal display if you use a screen if you can see in different mode and different direction it will give you some black black image that means it will not give you the crystal clear if you are inside in, there is a problem who have overcome this problem led based light emitting diode based screen so nowadays organic led is having more advanced features as compared to this crystal uh, clear quality and all these things but again, it, if you require this technology, that means it costs more in comparison to the previous technology. But the, it is demand, it is the requirement, and the innovation is taking place. So earlier, the technology from where it is started, now it is where, and where it will go, we don't know. Now telephone, it was invented around 1940 to 1960, and there are lots of modification has been going on. Apart from that, in 1996, Motorola Bing is first mobile phone which can transmit the information from one place to another place without any wire. Okay, that means it is a mobile. Mobile means mobile cell phone, mobile phone. That means we can use from to carry from one place to another place. Then after that, Nokia have introduced 1.3 megapixel camera along with that. That means it. If, if we are if, if we carry mobile phone from one place to another place which has uh, having the features of calendar and the watch can we can if we can carry so can we use as a camera for this all to take the pictures because we can carry it is operating at the battery so this innovation is start to take now blackberry what it does he have introduced the email facility also internet also if we can gps 2G, 3G uh, system was there. So introduce the emailing facilities also. We can transmit the email and receive the mails also. And in 2005, you can say there is a technology. The Ericsson have introduced the, the audio system. There is a, uh, you can listen the music. It can store the uh, music and as well. And nowadays in 2008, there is a, Android system has start to you can use the internet, newspaper, watch on watch TV. That means whatever you can do. And nowadays you can see what your mobile phone it has it having the lots of lots of applications. What the applications are? It are again innovation which are making your life more easy. The innovation is going on. Android, lots of Android applications were there. You can see this WhatsApp. Facebook, these all are the Android applications. So these all making your life more easy. Mobile phone technology. If you can, lots of applications are there. You people might be using some application, but there are lots of applications are available in Play Store. If you go there, you can find out the different way to do the different things. Okay. So if I scan the barcode, I can use, I can know about the information. If I scan the barcode, I can register for the any webinar or seminar or any uh, application. If I, if I uh, scan the barcode of any product, I would like uh, to know more about that. I can see its information. There are lots of applications which, which are making our life more easy. Now, what is the future of this technology? We don't know. You people also don't know what would happen these mobile phone. It would be remain same or it would be upgraded. Sometime I can use my palm, it's a mobile phone. It is a sixth sense technology. It already the people are uh, pronomistry have given that vision. It's a sixth te six sense technology video. If you can see, you can find out I can use my mobile uh, palm as a mobile phone. 
there is a projector there is some system and audio system are also associated with that they don't need to carry the mobile phone sensor is also working on the transparent mobile technology where when transparent screen is you, you can use as a mobile phone so there is lots of innovation is going on although sensor is not succeeded with this technology but it again it is altering the thinking process and the mobile technology process and that so this is not the future we can't say that what would be the future of the mobile technology it will go with battery level okay we don't know so like this alexa you can see have you think of that the device which is communicating with you alexa please call the uh, person alexa do it so audio recognition is also there But earlier if you uh, 10, 15 to 20 years back if you can see all these things it is very difficult to imagine that so this is only happening uh, first step the invention is happening after that the innovation has been taken place in that direction now the, uh, there is one, one another technology which i am uh, very much impressed that if earlier you can say there is a printer so there is a scanner printer that means it is a 2d model that is xy plane but there is a 3d printers are also available in our university we are having 3 3d printers so what is the objective utilization of 3d printer it you it it print the structure entire structure okay and in in in, in three in three dimensions that means three three dimensions so you can see so if you can see that the three dimensional system is working that means just a minute so you can see this is scanner and 3d printer so so you can see scanner and 3d printer now what is the application of 3d printer 3d printer will print the three dimensional structure i told you x y and z so x is there y is there z is there so now now in this case if you can see there is a printer which can print entire building that means it will not print entire building it will print a prototype of that building or using that prototype if we can make a big size of printer okay so there is no need listen my word there is no need to do the fundamental process like this we are making the foundation and like this they will print entire building so like this this is the technology nowadays the foreign countries are using we know the two dimensional and three dimensional but we can print anything we can print the human structure bricks shoes building entire building anything plain whatever you want we can print them that way that means toys toy industries are more more the 3d printing technologies uh, nowadays 3d printers are more utilizing for the toy industry and uh, raw material design but there are two type of process one is the first step is to making the prototype of that and third, second step is to make, making the actual product so it required big size of printers okay so uh, china this the uh, us this developed country are using and india is also having some some uh, some iits uh, I, i forgot the name the people have made the civil structure which is printed with the 3d printed technology okay so you can you can search out these technology the innovation again this is innovation it will it will it will reduce your labor cost and again every technology is coming there is a positive and negative is also some positive technology is there that means it will give it will save money it will save the manpower everything same time it will affect your uh, employment that means the people which are already working in that that industry required less number of people for that so there is alternative also should be there so that the, the whenever the positive is uh, this any technology is coming whatever the drawbacks they can shift it in another way so this 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 is the process these are the thinking process these are the innovative process we are not thinking in one way we should think in another way what are the industries if if this is coming what are the industry are coming so a good entrepreneur good startup founder so think in this way okay so 
it may affect the manpower. Now, this is the startup which is incubated at Manipal University, Jaipur. That means I just want to tell you what is the two process, the pre-incubation. So innovation has been taken place, then innovation is going on. So there are two processes. Number one is pre-incubation. Pre-incubation means I have an idea in my mind. So where I, I, I have to go? So there are different incubation centers and pre-incubation centers. So pre-incubation, that means at the row level. Row level, that means you don't know about that idea. Is it feasible or not? You don't know. You have only idea. That means who will sort out this pre-incubation? That means the idea is at the early stage. That means at, you can say it is a small child. He don't know anything. The, uh, we are feeding them. We, we as a parent are feeding them. We are giving them this is right, this is wrong. Don't do that. Don't do this. So we are taking care of. So like this, this is the pre-incubation. And pre-incubation, if you have done for a certain time, two to three months, that means the next process is incubation. That means now you are having the product ready. Product ready means that means prototype is ready. You already worked on that. Now, if you go to any incubation unit, for example, I told you the Manipal University Jaipur is having Atal Incubation Center, which is Niti Ayok's initiative, which is not for our university, it is for the reason. So like that, if we are having this kind of incubation center, they will support at the next level. Next level, what are the support? To registering the company. Second one is, it is help to providing the funds. It will help to connect with the industry where this, this technology would be, would be fulfilled. So like this, this ecosystem will work. So pre-incubation is one step. Every, every institute, I recommend every institute should have the pre-incubation or entrepreneurship or startup cell, innovation cell like this. So probably GIT is also having, but what is the purpose of these cells? Just give it, give the small, small feed small ideas if, if someone is bringing give them at least their expertise that yes it is it is visible or not like this connect with the around world so like this the incubation and pre-incubation work now if this technology is growing then there are two competitors one example i would like to give you in the innovation if there's an audience google tesla apple what is the competition in this audience is the Automobile manufacturing company, Google, Tesla, and Apple. These are the software companies which are working on the software industries. Any competitors? Yes, these are having competitors. Google have launched its driverless car. Okay, this innovation because Google is already having having the software industry around it. Okay, so what he has done? Uh, if a person is sitting inside, in no need to drive the car through Google, that means to GPS map, if the starting location or end location is fixed, the car will automatically go from one place to another place. Okay, the, uh, the trials is still going on. Okay, now what are the problems in between? The problem number one is if there is a heavy traffic, so what you will do? It would be autopilot mode whenever you need to change the directions you would be. There is a traffic in between. So it can shift manually also. Okay. The driver can shift it manually. The person who is sitting inside, he can shift the yes, like mobile phone. He can read the newspaper. He can see the mobile phone. He's going this way. He found some, some problem in this path. That means there is a red line which is showing more traffic. He can change its path also. That these are possibility available. But how it is happening? This car is left with the Sensors, lasers, radars, cameras, and all those things. Interior, it is having the design in such a way that the driver, uh, there's no need of a driver. Okay, round shape to maximum sensor view. That means the backside sensor can be seen because if we make it rectangular, so what happens? Sensor can, uh, it blocks the view of the sensor. The computer, that means it is having the certain cell drive mechanism. Uh, backend system, all the backend system which is having the gear shifting and all these mechanical electrical batteries, electrical vehicle, all the solar panel and all these things are less in this, this. 
so that it is advanced system so if we can see this is a car so there is a lots of sensor which is having so it will tell tell it will has the record of which that means the next vehicle what is the distance between the next vehicle if it is moving on it also sends the boards or signs what should what is the speed limit over there for example it is 90 it will keep it automatically it is shifted at less than 90 there are some sensors also available with which which tell the location or the position of the moving vehicle which is coming from the back side so like this it will shift automatically these instruction all sensors are coming so like this the this would be the next it would so what what is the advantage of having this kind of technology it will sometime it will avoid uh, accidents yes probably but it should work efficiently that means we we are carrying the humans from one place to another place using this technology that means it require 100 1000 time of uh, trials okay if you can see one person is going to fly the aircraft he become pilot so he has before that he has the experience to fly good experience to fly in hours okay like this it has to go with the lots of checks security checks and all such things but the technology is advancing so this is called innovation innovation is going on driverless car have you seen think of that in that way no no one has think if 10 to 15 years back no one is thinking driverless car electric vehicles solar panel based no one is thinking nowadays the innovation this is a fuel consumption and lack of petrol gases all these things there's an alternative solution for the energy will be coming and it is coming through the renewable energy will which will long last it okay so like this these are the technology now the question is what is entrepreneur now if person is doing some innovation it may become the entrepreneur it can start its own business so entrepreneur is a person who brings about a change in processes characteristic to implement the idea to the benefit of the society as a whole that means that idea is implementing in the society this innovation is implementing implementing in the process his innovation is implementing in the services innovation is implementing in the product so what entrepreneurship means entrepreneur is a person entrepreneur i am entrepreneur that means i have some innovative thing to do so i become an entrepreneur that means i am i am providing the solution to the society okay and that is benefit to me as well as the society as well okay so i told you the innovation means the people is thinking Achha, mere mind mein rahe, i am thinking that if i can do in this way it would be better but it is if if, if i'm not bringing on the on the ground level that means in the society this solution is available with me if i'm not bringing that solution to the society there is no use of that innovation that means you should become the entrepreneur then only you can you can you can better utilize your innovation so entrepreneur is a person who brings about the changes and processes to characteristic okay so like this you can see there is a lots of innovation is going on so you i'm giving you very rural, rural example this is called indian jugad a person who is having uh, having this jugad it is having an engine at the front side in rural india we can see the lot lots of vehicles in like this there is no bus facility there is no he can make this jugad okay it will not cost more than 20 20 to 30 thousand like this so he is making a structure a structure and then this engine cost a lot in comparison to all other structure and the person can carry so it become those who are thinking in this way first of all they are thinking this innovation can be taken place if four wheel systems we can make and backside so we can use that this vehicle to carry the passenger from one way to another way there there is no government facility okay we can take our crops from one place to another place like tractor we can use this type of thing but it's, it's not as as compare power but he, yes we can use the person become a self entrepreneur he has is implemented an idea and implemented an idea in such a way he can carry the person he can carry the people from one place to another place can can take crops in one place to an, another place so entrepreneurship is 
the young minds uh, this uh, definition we are make as per the mug but it is applicable to the all the all the person that means the industrial technology transfer and business startups that means to making the person uh, so that it can transmit its idea in industry technology or business startup that means if i am thinking in innovative way there is no use if i am not making it industry ready so entrepreneur is a person who is making the product or the service or the process in such a way that means so that the society may benefit and industry society ka benefit hogi jab tak aapke aap aapka product ko industry nahi uthaye now this is very good product or you become the startup business that means you start to uh, sell the services you start to sell the processes you start to sell the product you have an innovative product so might be seen the uh, shark tank shark tank india it was telecasted in sony so you can see shark tank are still the second part is in under process it will telecast so if you can see there is a lots of innovation has been taken taken place and lots of innovation is going on now what is the main purpose creating a more job creator who is entrepreneur the person who is creating the more job creator rather than job seekers that means for passing out we are looking for the job so the if you if you people will take this responsibility i will become the entrepreneur i have that idea so this person become the job creators rather than job seekers because we know that in our country the population is a problem always it will remain okay if there is a lots of lots of person is coming out we need required so government Uh, everyone is focusing more on startup entrepreneurship you can see lots of ranking arya ranking iic ranking these all rankings are come on, come under the category only addressing the entrepreneurship startup in ecosystem higher education institution now the school level the innovation startup it is also boosting with the mentoring them and lots of programs is going on this impact lecture is the one of the part of this kind of initiative the government is having and the people are handing their holds to do the system better and you can see these are these are very very uh, time taking process but when the, it will start to flourish you can see the what are the what are the what are the fact on the society and the people which are coming out lots of young researchers they uh, so entrepreneurship it make your entrepreneur to uh, that means efforts your idea plan strategy decisions action solution success growth like this these are the 10 is uh, like uh, seven eight nine steps which you can follow there are lots of key terminology creation is small value venture and lots of terminology whenever you join this journey you will find out what are the required if you are at the beginning level you should think of the idea now next level there is support venture in venture capital uh, angel investment this terminology will come in the mind uh, what is venture capital what is the angel investment angel investment matlab koi aaya aur aapko kuch paise de gaya venture aaya aapko aur kuch part liya usne aur kuch apna share rakha like this so like this there are lots of type of investment you people are but think of if you are aapke idea mein dam hai to the people will take that idea and they will invest on it you are thinking no idea will be small or big it is only feasible then you bring in the notice of the Uh, industry or the stakeholders then only so these are the steps i told you the pre incubation is the step incubation then industry so your idea become more mature i'm saying uh, i will do this 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 thing it is in my mind please work on that make a prototype then bring to the incubation level if you are incubating the people will support you and will connect you to industry and then the industry will decide that it is visible or not or you need to change x to x dash or y to y dash so like this you have to change little but so that maybe it will happen only whenever you start to interact with the industry sometime what happens the lack of interaction lack of knowledge of extra curricular activities these are the small problems which are coming at the initial level to the students they are don't having the courage to share the things they don't having the interaction with the you share with your idea with with your your teachers and your uh, people which are near by you people are afraid of taking the risk no platform for modeling the talents stage fear lack of 
initiative among the students. So these kinds of things. So in our incubation center, what we are doing, that's why I am making this uh, this uh, picture. That at the initial level, we start with the idea. Then technical support we will provide. Then pre-incubate them, offer them a letter, some financial support if they require to make the prototype. Then after that, they start up incubation AIC. Then we will send to the AIC. Yes, you people can. So like this, this is the process. Every pre-incubation center are having this kind of structure. Maybe different institution are having the different. But that means what entrepreneur required idea. That's it. If you can see the Ritesh Agrawal saw your room. He has think in different way. That uh, Ritesh Agarwal think in different way. That uh, the hotel industry is suffering from from. Uh, that means they are not getting the appropriate customers. Good hotels will get good customers, the rich families, clients, but those are having average. For example, two thousand rupees cost, one thousand rupees cost, seven hundred rupees cost, like this. So what Ritesh Agrawal think? He think in the different way, and he has think in different way. He think in in that way that if if we can if. He, we can think of any system which is having the collection of all the rooms which are not sold, which are empty. So he has contacted to initially ten to ten uh, hotels that if you, if we provide you the business, can you give it some concession as well as our benefit? So like this, he makes one app. They are through OYO room. People can find out this this uh, low cost hotels, and like this, he have expanded in and in database, he have added all the all the uh, locality over there. So like this, he is thinking in this, this way. Then only the innovation has been taken place. Now coming to the Ola Uber, everyone know people are using Ola Uber. Now uh, it is Bhavesh Agrawal's initiative. Then whenever we have to, money is not the thing to win the market. It is experience. You don't require the money to start with. You require idea. The people will support you. Government will support you. The incubation units will support you. They are having the sufficient fund, but you require a good idea. But who will judge that idea is good or not? It will take some time to. You need to experience that thing. So that means. The, if we can see the Ola and Uber, the people what they have done now it, it become history. Ola or Uber, everyone, every person. If I I am going to the Chandigarh or Punjab or Gujarat or in any country where these services are available, I no need to ask for the local transportation. I just starting point. I book the Ola and the end point. You people are more familiar because you are technology friendly people. So you are more familiar of this kind of technology. You you people are using in Jaipur also. Okay. So Ola Uber, these are the initiatives. Swaggy Jamato, these are again the different way thinking. If there is a there is a lots of food 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 chains are available. The but people has to go outside the home to bring anything. The person is providing these all things at your foot your doorstep. That means it is an innovation. Now thinking in different way will give you different business, okay opportunities. But it requires some technical technical background also. If you are thinking in that way, you require. For example, you are non-technical people, you don't know about the technology. You have that idea that you have to collaborate. You have to co-found. You have to you uh, take the CEO co-CEO of the these okay co-founders. Buy juice. No one of thinking of the there is a big market available in the school level. Earlier that market was at the uh, people are thinking that the college students and these people are but by yourself, okay. By yourself, Avindran he has think in different way, and uh, he targeted the school is education is, and he. He promoted in this way that the learning is making more innovative. That means through example, animations, lectures. If you can see by juice video, you can find out there is innovations in the teaching learning process. If this now is selling this thing. Apart from that, he is adding more uh, uh, taps and etc. 
so again he is promoting his business in different so these are the one few examples paytm vijay shankar sharma founder of the paytm you can everyone know paytm we people are using this 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 is the sanjeevni during the uh, lockdown period paytm everyone every rickshaw wala tele wala everyone is using paytm and still it is going on because it will announce the digital transformation digital currency so you can see now this is parvinder singh redbus.com is whenever uh, parvinder is face some problem sometimes if you can see your surrounding you will find out lots of problem if you pick one of the problem that solution would be affecting how much crowd for example if i am providing the solution my locality is using that solution or my my state is using or my jilla or my state is using that solution or entire country is using that solution so like this you can classify that how you can go from one who would be the potential customer for that so he thinking in different way that is start is itself is facing the problem that whenever is going from um, going from his, uh, his college to his home whenever is going for the bus it's very difficult to find out the seat then think in different way if there is an online system the redbus.com is coordinated with the lots of lots of government and private uh, vendors and then the seats are if it is booking from their site they this all their purpose also okay so sometimes what happens is uh, the uh, if there is online system is there people will book it well in advance but uh, whenever they they have to go to the physically they, then the window system is there lots of manpower and lots of efforts will be there so like this if someone is providing the solution then it is good opportunity for the to learn from these startup and please do not do not read about the success startups failures also you should address failures those who have burned up their startups why what are the reason what are the problems so now madhav ji mahadev ji's uh, dabbe wala is the famous in mumbai so the people are also so there no education required for that i told you there are lots of startup if you can see there is lots of businesses going on if you can see this business there is no technology behind that there is no education our education no oxford there is no high degree required for this innovation only the thought process if you are having the thought process you find out this if you are providing the solution to the society you are a good entrepreneur if you are a good entrepreneur you you become the job creators so dabbe wala is famous in the mumbai they are having lots of innovative method to send the, their dabba they will you can see there there the lots of dabbas are going on because in mumbai there is, there is a very fast life and people it is very difficult to make the food at the home so these dabbe walas are providing the food at, during the lunch time or before that that would be the you can say it is a it is a very good solution for the mankind so quality maintain and innovation then after that barcoding all these people if you can see their more detail you can find out there is lots of lots of innovation has been done in that so like this uh, the main whole idea of this lecture is just to motivate you about the entrepreneurship startup and what is innovation what is innovation means innovation invention means and uh, this is uh, entrepreneur is closely related that means if you are doing the innovation you should start a entrepreneur journey or a startup journey that means these are closely related if you are not bringing in the in the in the in the notice of the society or industry there is no use of that innovation but having very good idea but so that uh, that is from my side if you have any query any question you can ask uh, participants please ask your question through the chat box you can write the question in chat box if uh, having any question we have one or two minutes for the question answer session so if you can you can write the question in the chat box
okay if there is no question so we can wind up sir yes sir yes sir so thank you thank you very much sir in this uh, short span of duration you well explained about the entrepreneurship and innovations it was a knowledgeable session uh, for the participants engaged in developing a new concept uh, and uh, products as an entrepreneur also i assure you that this session will provide an exposure to all the students participants in terms of enhancing their knowledge about innovation and entrepreneurship and uh, thanks again for giving us valuable time for this impact lecture very special thanks to all pcs student and faculty participants to make this uh, lecture meaningful our second impact lecture uh, on design thinking and innovation in startup is scheduled at 11:30 am so all the participants need to join again at 11:30 after this session a, a, a feedback link will be shared in the chat box Uh, on behalf of this feedback you can get your certificate after the second session so thank you thank you very much sir again thank you sir thank, thank you rajendra ji thank you for, uh, thank you for inviting me thank you i am ending this session